Second evictee, Ryan! Close vote, Ryan. Yeah. So close. Very close. I can't believe it. Do you, do you want to have a look at the voting? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's bring that up because this was the closest vote in the history of Australian Big Brother. One percentage point, Ryan. Uh, one percent. Does that, does that make it better or worse, do you think, knowing that it was just one percent in it? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough, yeah. but it's all right. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah I'm You're cool. okay? I'm cool. It's hard because we saw you. Look, we're happy to see you. I think the housemates were sad to see you go, some in particular. Yeah, it was hard to leave us, Stal. Y yeah, yeah, well, I mean, that's the love story. <laughs> see, the crowd, they're all upset. Um, it was a love story. It was like you were the Shane Warne and she was the Elizabeth Hurley. She's an amazing girl, you know, like everyone has said to me, you know, can you find a girlfriend? Um, you know, I thought, well, I don't know, but I walked in there and I just thought, I thought, yeah, she's the one, she's awesome. So how much do you like her? I really like her. You really like her? <laughs> out of ten? <laughs> ten out of ten. Oh, ten out of ten! Right. We should probably have a look at your time in the house with Estelle, should we? Yeah. The romance? Oh, all right. yep. <laughs> I really get along with Estelle. She's awesome, she's very friendly. I just feel a connection there. And every day I've been in the house, the, the bond is getting stronger and stronger. Please select the first mate. I'll take Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to like her and, and um, starting to feel for her. It's just really awkward seeing Bradley kiss his star. Woman. Ryan reacted a little different to what I expected. He must be more into me than I thought. I like her, man. She's definitely girlfriend material. I think he's falling for you. I think he is in love. Why do I always do this to guys? Oh, Ryan. Now we have to talk about this. What do you think Estelle meant by that? I don't know. Do you think she was worried about it getting too serious in the house? No, 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 no. Um, she's just, you know, just has. She said, um, I don't know if you heard, she's talking about orbs. She's like, things are just meant to be. Mm -hmm. And I totally believe that. Yeah. Like, perhaps a wedding would be meant to be? Oh, nah. <laughs> to the bride and groom. <laughs> what is it you think Estelle likes about you? I'm just honest. I say, I say it how it is, you know. Um, I, I, I'm not playing the game, it's just me and she's, all she says, you know, she goes, too many people here are playing the game and uh, I respect you for being who you are and, yeah. Now we should talk about Bradley because, <laughs> well it was a bit of a love triangle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was, it was. And Bradley didn't really make any attempt to hide the fact that he had feelings for Estelle too. So how did you find that? Do you think Bradley should have kind of buried those feelings or? Nah, it was fine. A couple of things he said, you know, I was like, mate, you don't need to say that. You know, it was pretty hard when that, they kissed. Mm. The th first time he uh, kissed a girl, it was pretty hard to sit back and see that. Mm. But, yeah, Bradley's just a funny guy, man. I've never <laughs> met anyone like him in my life. <laughs> I'm not sure you ever will again either. No, I don't think so. <laughs> now, you are a bit of a thinker, and you've said that you're a bit of a thinker. So let's have a look and a listen to some of your thoughts in the house. Gee, I say some stupid things. I was by my little eye. Something beginning with M. Where is it? I can't tell you. I mean, you can't tell me. This is the whole point of the game. I say a letter and you have to look for it. 
He told me our well, president was in England. Gordon Brown. I thought it was David Cameron. Who was on the front cover of Time magazine in 1958? Front cover of Time. You wouldn't, you won't guess it. Hitler. Oh no. really? Oh, he was dead the front cover of Time. He was dead boy. Right. Mm. No one believed me. I was a duck from my school. He looks like he's seriously confused. And then he does these ones. Yeah. Yeah. You can probably tell him wouldn't think of Big Brother. Um, just one second. Um, he's just stupid. He's just ridiculously stupid. Let's hey, play a game. Let's see which Altman can float. What do you think about that? Well, he's a genius, isn't he? <laughs> well played, well played. He's tattoos. I've never seen anything like that. He's got brush him. He forgets to brush his teeth. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, I mean, the thing is that you're not stupid. We know that. And we have loved having you in the house. Do you think it was fair the way the other housemates treated you? Um, at first, I thought, you know, the guys might be a bit intimidated by me when I walked in. Um, when I first walked into the house, I don't know why, but I thought Michael was an actor. Mm -hmm. I've walked in, I was like, what's going on? Is Big Brother playing a joke here? Am I actually the only housemate and they've got some actors in here or what? But, yeah, a lot of things have gone through my mind while I was being in the house. Nice one. All right, Ryan, uh, you don't know this yet, but your influence on the Big Brother house is not over. After the break, we're going to get you to give one of the housemates the power to change nominations. Actually, that's going to happen tomorrow night, but you have the power yep. to change it, and that is coming up right after this. to Big Brother Eviction Night Live where Ryan has just been evicted. Now each week we ask you to go online and vote for your top three moments from our nominated housemates time in the house. The public have voted and here are your KFC top three so good moments. Number five, we're on the we're on the drive to Queensland. Yeah, we're doing a hundred clicks today. Seeing other people, there's no people here. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Now remember to go to BigBrother.com.au and vote for our new nominees. So good moments. They'll be up online on Wednesday. Now, Ryan, you're out of the house but you can still exert some influence. Tomorrow night, the housemates you've just said goodbye to will nominate, and you can give one of them an advantage. It's called the nomination's superpower, and everyone will find out what it is tomorrow night. So, it is an advantage. Who would you like to give the nomination's superpower to? Estelle. No. <laughs> well done. All right, Ryan, we need to see your story, your time in the house. No! Oh! 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 Nice to meet you, dude. Welcome to the house. Cheers, man. We got to make friends with Sally. I feel comfortable at the moment. I feel like I can speak to anyone. I'm getting along with a lot of people, letting my hair down. <laughs> No, man. I just can't stand like rude people. Like, I think I'm a nice guy. I'll go around and I'll chat to people and stuff. But, like if I see someone that's not making an effort, I'm just like, man, it's just a tool. I'll take Ryan. Yeah! Boys are going to be so jealous of you. On 16 points, Ryan. This could be my last week, so I don't want to walk around being upset and try to work out who nominated me and segregate them people and be a bad sport, because that's not who I am. When Ryan was nominated, just like a switch was turned on and he's been bubbly and full of energy. Put it there, man. The best thing I've ever done is to go inside the Big Brother house. Yes! yes! Good job. Easily. We are calling it the life of Ryan. You've been a great house.
housemate. Thank you so much for being Boris. part of Big Brother. There he is, Ryan. Hey. Back to the real world for Ryan. Now, the time has come for me to cross live to the house. I'm going to make a mistake. And this time, it'll be intentional. <laughs> we have created a second fake house, complete with actors playing housemates. The whole idea is to totally mess with our real housemates' heads. Do you guys want to play with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we can't let on. All right, let's cross to the house. How do you feel? Sure. 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 Sad. All right. You've lost good friend Ryan, Estelle. Are you okay? Yes, I know I'm okay. You okay? <laughs> Thank you, yeah. All right. Well, don't be sad. Don't be sad. And uh, Bradley, of course, and Benjamin, are you surprised you're still there? I'm so surprised, Sonia. Like, I'm sure my boyfriend's <laughs> out there thinking, where is Ben? His name is Ben, but I'm sure Ben's sitting there. Where's the other Ben? <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, guys, I have to give you a friendly reminder, a bit of housekeeping. Nominations are tomorrow night, and Big Brother has told me he will not put up with any flimsy justifications for nominations, so make sure you start thinking about that now, OK? OK. All right. I'll catch up with you tomorrow night. <laughs> Good night, everyone. So, house number one is reeling from losing Ryan, and house number two is reeling from losing Sam. We've heard house number one's thoughts. Now let's hear from the guys in house number two. has got them questioning everything. Big Brother will have the housemates turning mental somersaults with the fake house. Can't wait to see the drama unfold. Be watching a No Holds Barred nomination show live tomorrow night. It's the first time everyone could be nominated and stay tuned because after 60 Minutes tonight's new drama, House Husbands, I'm Sonia Kruger. See you next time, everyone. Dream World, the home of Big Brother.